The Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell is largely an opinion talk show. All opinions, comments, or statements of fact expressed by Rob McConnell's guests are strictly their own and are not to be construed as those of the Exxon Radio Show or endorsed in any manner by Rob McConnell, Relmar McConnell Media Company, the Exxon Broadcast Network, its affiliated networks, stations, employees, or advertisers. All hit radio. Welcome to the X Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Rob McConnell, coming to you live and around the world from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada on the Talkstar Radio Network. Our toll-free number, one 877 toll-free throughout the U.S., Canada, Alaska, and Hawaii. My email address is xzone at talkstarradio.com. On MSN Messenger, talkstarradio at hotmail.com. And our websites, www.xzoneradio.com. And if you'd like to watch, listen, and chat with the coolest radio audience anywhere, www.xzonetv.com. My guest this hour is Dr. Shelley Kerr, and we'll be discussing the energetic properties of gems and minerals based on her many books on the subject, including her two latest, Gemstone Journeys, the third edition, and Top Ten Healing Stones of All Times, that is available exclusively through her websites at www.shellycare.com. That's S-H-E-L-L-E-Y-K-A-E-H-R.com. Dr. Shelly Care is one of the world's leading authorities on energy healing and author of 16 nonfiction books on mind-body connection. She is a featured expert in the media on a wide variety of paranormal and alternative healing subjects who most loves sharing her expertise on the healing power of gems and minerals and why stones provide critical assistance in times of rapid planetary shifts. Shelley is widely known for her work in the field of past life regression and parallel universes. Her work in consciousness is endorsed by many of the greatest thinkers of our time. Shelley lives near Dallas, Texas, and once again, her website is www.shellycare.com, and that's S-H-E-L-L-E-Y-K-A-E-H-R.com. And dear Shelley, welcome to the X-Zone. How are you, my dear? Great. How are you, Rob? Well, now that you're here, my life is complete. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. Uh, Shelley, what do you, uh, how do you and your family, uh, do you do anything special for Easter? Well, usually, you know, boil a few eggs, yeah. and some ham, you know, the usual. I set out rabbit traps, personally. <laughs> <laughs> what a mean guy I am. Uh, listen, last time uh, you, you were on the show, we talked about top ten healing stones of all times. Now, can you remind us what those are? Yeah, um, the top ten are rose quartz, hematite, amethyst, citrine, aventurine, Sodalite, mm-hmm. lapis, fluorite, serpentine, and bloodstone. Bloodstone. Now, what does bloodstone look like? Well, I'm, it's a dark. I mean, this, is a, this shouldn't be a complicated question. It is a dark <laughs> green. <laughs> this is so complex, Rob. Oh my God. Um, it is a dark green stone with red flecks. But on my new book, Top Ten, I've got, and on my website, I've got mm-hmm. this picture of this red bloodstone, which is kind of a, it's more of a, well, bloodstone is a kind of a jasper, but most traditional bloodstones are dark green with the red flex. Shelley, you and I have to take a two-minute commercial break. Please stand by. I just received information from my producer and master control that uh, her husband just called her to tell her about a news story that uh, was just on. Apparently, a woman got pulled over in Florida... I believe it's in Florida, anyway, for having a license plate that says, I love T-O-F-U. My gosh, they pulled over Stephanie Reasley so soon. Hmm. When I come back, more with Dr. Shelley Kerr on the x And if you'd like to uh, ask Shelley a question, just send an email to x at talkstarradio.com. 
I'll be back on the other side of this two-minute break with Dr. Shelley Kerr as we continue live and around the world from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Take a step back in time and discover old Florida cuisine at Marsh Landing Restaurant in Felsmere. Enjoy delicacies such as frog legs, gator tail, catfish, and swamp cabbage, or enjoy the more traditional cuisine like hand-cut Angus steaks, ribs, and seafood. Join us for breakfast with a southern flair featuring sweet potato pancakes, biscuits and gravy, and much more. Planning a party? Marsh Landing's private dining room can accommodate groups from 8 to 80 people. While you're visiting, enjoy the historic pictures, artifacts, and stories that line the walls. Marsh Landing is truly a unique experience. Marsh Landing Restaurant, 44 North Broadway in historic Felsmere, or visit marshlandingrestaurant.com. Marsh Landing, old Florida cuisine at its best. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the Exxon Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan, and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere. 24-7-365. Are you interested in the paranormal, ghosts, UFOs, or psychic phenomenon? Join me, Tim Bartley, co-host of Talking to Spirits with Lightworkers Tim and Justina, coming mid-January 2017 to the XZBN. We will channel spirits live and talk to them, revealing all kinds of amazing information. Spiritual attachments will be found and removed on the show, and so much more. To find out when you can listen to Talking to Spirits with Lightworkers Tim and Justina, visit www.xzbn.net for listeners on both sides of the veil. Dr. Shelley Care is our special guest. Her website is www.shellycare.com, and that's S H E L L E Y K A E H R. Dot com and she is one of the world's leading authorities on energy healing and author of 16 non-fiction books on mind-body connection. Uh, Shelley, uh, do gems and minerals really help us? For example, I know that people take calcium, and uh, there are you know multivitamins have different minerals in them in order to uh, to kind of uh, equalize our, our body and uh, trim everything out. But how do the other, uh, how do minerals and gems help us besides the ones that we take internally for our health? I'm glad you brought that up because people don't realize, you know, that you're really eating rocks every day in your multivitamin, yeah. you know, so... The things that I talk about in my books are the, the gemstones, the kinds that we wear in jewelry and that we can carry and put in our homes. I mean, they're 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 energetically the same thing as your vitamins. You're just mm. interacting with them in a more physical way. So uh, how do they affect our bodies? What do they do? For example, we, we were talking about bloodstone. What effect does bloodstone have on our body? Well, each one of the minerals, just like everything else in the known universe is vibrating at a different mm-hmm. frequency and so depending on what it is that you need to attract when your your physical body you know is only half of your equation you're a physical body you're an energetic body and when you introduce the minerals into your energy field then they begin to react with each other and you get into what i call like a rapport where a resonance a harmony with the mineral so depending on what it is that you need to attract when you either ingest these minerals, you 
through your vitamins or you hold them or wear them as jewelry, you begin to change your own vibrational frequency. And so whatever it is you need begins to show up in your life. And in the case of bloodstone, the reason why I, I believe it is the top healing stone of all time is because there have been so many miraculous healings with it. Um, I mentioned before the break that it's a dark green stone mm-hmm. with red flecks, and many people, uh, including myself, believe that those red flecks represent the blood of Christ. And what happens is the the red actually gets absorbed into the physical body, and the bloodstone's been known to help people with all kinds of um, things, everything from I've seen people with leukemia use it, uh, people with severe lung conditions, uh, diabetes, heart conditions, all kinds of things, and they've had, you know, miraculous results from the energetic assistance. This is not, you know, everything I talk about, it's not to replace your your allopathic medicine, but I think that a lot of, yeah, compliment. I mean, I think a lot of the reasons why people are ill is because you're in a state of dis-ease, like your, your body, your energy system mm-hmm. is not in harmony with whatever it is that's around you, and so the stones can be very powerful and, to energetically and, assist. And Mother Nature, or nature, automatically balances everything. We humans seem to toss the wrench into the gear work. For example, the mega buildings that we have that have marble or terrazzo all over the place, and uh, you've got homes that have granite counters. Uh, do these upset the balance of nature? I think um, we've done so much to the planet already, but I, I think that if we can have those stones in our mm-hmm. buildings, I mean, I, I think it would help. We're, we're not going to get rid of buildings right no. away. So I, I think that that's like also another interesting question. I mean, is it okay for us to be using minerals to adorn ourselves, yeah. or is that bad for the earth? And I, I've thought about this considerably. I mean, you have to think, I mean, since the dawn of time, even even the ancient Egyptians and, and beyond, the Atlanteans even were wearing different jewelry and things like that. So these days, yes, we make buildings out of granite. I, I think it's okay. And I do think it, it probably impacts us, yes. All right, how about uh, the jewelry that... Um that people wear uh, gold. Let's take a look at uh, at diamonds, rubies, emeralds. Do these work in conjunction with our vibratory levels, or are there any any of these gems that we should be aware of because they work against the natural vibrations of our body? Yeah, the metals and some of the stones you mentioned, such as the rubies and the emeralds and things, are. Um I talked about those in my book, Edgar Casey's Guide to Gemstones. Mm-hmm. And Edgar Casey, um, the world's greatest psychic, when he gave those life readings, he was talking to people about vibrations and that people are attracted to things based on vibration. And so when people ask me, you know, do I need to be careful about this stone or that stone, I mean, I, I, I really don't think any harm can come to anyone from any particular stone, but I think that everyone just kind of has to use common sense. I mean, Naturally, there's certain things that you're attracted to. Mm -hmm. There's also other things that you are repelled by. So, you know, just use common sense and go with the things that you're attracted to and just trust your instincts to know that you're going to work with the things that you most need to work with. But I may be attracted to something, Shelley, that is is bad for me. So how do we know what is good and what is bad? (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, I guess if we're a glutton for punishment... Hey, hey. Then, hey, I don't know. Are you a glutton for punishment? You bet I am. Well, I mean, (laughs) okay, fine. No. I mean, I I have to say, yeah, sometimes I've had people pick Mm -hmm. up stones and they go, oh, my gosh, it's burning my hand. Or that doesn't happen very often. (laughs) Yeah, right. I say, well, either hang on. I mean, sometimes when people have this kind of what I call like an ab reaction, I think, well, the stone must really be working on their frequency. And so maybe you just need to hang on and, you know, go for the ride. And if you don't want to, then, yeah, put it down. I mean, you know. Just received a very interesting question from one of our listeners. They would like to know if meteorites contain any positive uh, vibrations that we could use. I think so, yes. What a meteorite really is, is that when matter falls from space Mm -hmm. and it lands on the Earth's crust, most of the Earth's crust is made out of nickel, so most of the meteors 
that you see around the planet um, are primarily composed of nickel, like melted nickel. And so there's a certain aspect where whatever it was that fell to earth, while you may or may not be actually picking up that in the meteor, there is an impact there. And so you're kind of getting to touch a piece of space. And then there are other, that's most minerals that are meteorites. There are other meteors such as the Czechoslovakian Moldavite, which is a translucent green stone. It was a meteor that fell in Czechoslovakia the only thing like it in the world and when they went to analyze it the thing just isn't made up of anything that we've got around here so that stone and a couple others are really truly considered to be the only extraterrestrial stones that there are out there because most meteors are just part of the earth's crust that's melted you know uh, yes okay now stones have played a major part in uh, in mythology in folklore and in legend for example King Arthur pulling out Excalibur of the stone. Yes. When I think about that story, Excalibur, I mean, more than it being about the stone, it's almost mm-hmm. about the power of the mind over the physical matter. You know, we humans are kind of locked down in a 3D reality, but there's all kinds of things that, that we're really capable of if we could let go of our attachment to the physical illusion. And once King Arthur realized, of course, he can just take his strength and bam, the the sword is free. You know, I think it's a good um, metaphor. Talking about bloodstone now, apparently uh, there's something that is causing bloodstone to change. Do you have any ideas on what that might be? I think, I've been thinking more about it. I think one of the magical chemical elements... I don't want to say magical, but let's just say more physical chemical elements that we could attribute to its miraculous transformation is probably chlorite. It's the it's the mineral that's coloring it green. Oh. I'm not exactly sure why chlorite is so helpful, but um, it seems to be very, very helpful for people who have lung conditions. Um, yeah, it makes them, I mean, I've seen people who could barely breathe use the the chloride in the stone or chloride quartz. Sometimes Mm -hmm. chloride can occur in quartz by itself. Use those stones and then um, they they see remarkable improvements. The other thing is that the red um, is also, well, it's composed of hematite, which is one of the top ten stones. And hematite is the ore of iron, and it's very good for pulling, like, negativity and vibes and things from a person. It's very, it's a very good psychic protection stone. Like when the stuff's hitting the fan, yeah. you know, you just put a bowl of hematite in your office or whatever, and it, it really protects the energy by absorbing that unwanted energy so that you don't have to. And I, I think it's a combination of them both, but I, I do think there's something very special about chloride that I'm going to continue to look into. So are, are the gems something we can use to assist us in our daily lives? We just talked basically about how gems and rocks can assist in an office in a negative situation. Um, if uh, somebody sent me a beautiful lamp that that is uh, filled with pink salt rock. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's wonderful. Yes, it seems that it... it We've got it in the bedroom, and when it is on, I find I sleep better. It's actually clinically proven to help you sleep better because it's ionizing. Ah. We think about like an like a humidifier humidifying the air, mm-hmm. but we don't realize that you know there are things such as the Himalayan salt, salt lamps that can actually change the frequency of the vibrations in the home and really help people relax. And the other reason why that works so well is because salt in general is just one of the most powerful substances on the planet. But not all salt is created equal. Mm -hmm. There are Epsom salts, which are magnesium sulfide, sea salts, which are every mineral known to man, and then your regular table salt. But all of them seem to either draw off what I want to call like negativity. They're they're protective. They've got a protective energy. And when those Himalayan salt lamps move through the, the field, they kind of... Their energy just cleanses the energy in your home, thus making you more relaxed 
and uh, getting a better night's sleep. Dr. Kerr, you and I have to take a commercial break with the news at the bottom of the hour. Please stand by. Exonation, Dr. Shelley Kerr is our special guest, and her website is www.shellycare.com. Dot com and care is spelled K A E H R. Dr. Care and I will return on the other side of this commercial break as the Exxon continues live and around the world from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, right here on the Talk Star Radio Network. Don't go away, we'll be back after the news. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the X-Zone Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the x Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan, and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember, 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere, 24-7. Dr. Shelley Kerr is our special guest, and um, if you'd like more information on gems and stones, if you'd like to uh, order any of the wonderful books that Shelley has written, www.shelleycare.com. That's www.s-h-e-l-l-e-y-k-a-e. HR. dot com. Uh, Shelley, why is it so important that people understand about uh, rocks and, and gems now? Um, is 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 it because of the specific time that we are in the evolutionary scale of of humanity, or is or is it much more than that? I think that we've always been attracted to the gems and minerals for the ways that they can assist us. And I do think that right now, as many of your listeners probably are already aware, that we really are having massive shifts going on energetically on the planet. And I think that it is very difficult for many people right now, not only with all of the financial stuff going on, but, I mean, even health-wise, people are having all kinds of different challenges and... I believe that many of these challenges that we face are directly linked to vibrational frequency shifts that our physical bodies are having a hard time dealing with. Gems and minerals are Mother Nature's gift to us that we can use. And if we, you know, a lot of my books are just trying to get people to be a little bit more conscious about Mm -hmm. the fact that, yes, these are actually, not only are they beautiful to look at, but they are actually assisting you energetically and uh, at this time in particular, I just think it's important for people to just start being aware, you know, how am I feeling right now? Am I feeling okay? And, and what do I need to do to, to get my energy into a more harmonious space? One of our listeners has asked me to ask you if there's any specific gem that would work in a troubled relationship between a husband and a wife. Let's see. Well, rose quartz is the stone of love, but I I guess it depends what is the situation. Um, I would have to... Are they chatting with you in the chat room? Maybe they could write in and say more specifically. No, this was was an email. Oh, okay. Hematite could help. Um, By absorb... I think what happens is when you're in a relationship, you, you have that blissful honeymoon phase, and then after a while... The same old, same old starts to happen, and and there's a lot of internal Mm -hmm. things that people project on each other, not even consciously, not even meaning to, until things start getting out of whack that you don't even remember what the problem was in the first place. So in those kinds of instances, um, hematite would be helpful. Also, like when you come home from work, maybe 
go right away and take an Epsom salt bath. Take a hot bath, dip an Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfide, and it, it tends to cleanse the energy field because I think when you come home from work or you come home from the outer world, you carry a lot of the let's garbage? say negativity, yeah, garbage, trash. You bring the trash home with yeah. you. So you can kind of wash that off maybe, and then you realize, wait a minute, a lot of the things that I think we're upset about or we think are so important or horrible or whatever they are really aren't about us. They're about the stuff that we picked up while we were out in the outer world. So make your home your sanctuary, and as soon as you step in, kind of you know, give yourself a ritual cleansing, whether it's just spraying yourself off. with. I have some little, like, rose oil I have essential oil with rose water and I'll just kind of spray myself off sometimes or you know the the Epsom salt baths are wonderful put, Shelley, a, put a Himalayan lamp in the bedroom how about that yeah Shelly yeah. you, wrote, you wrote a book on Lumerian seed crystals and basically said the same thing and they are here to help people now what are Lumerian seed crystals and how do they work yeah at first years ago when I started hearing about the seed crystals I thought it was much nonsense but um I thought maybe it was some marketing, but when I was around them, I realized there really is something going on here. Crystals have an amazing ability to store information. That's why we use them in our computers, because they store data. And so in the case of the Lemurian uh, seed crystals, the idea is that before Atlantis, eons ago, there was a civilization that predated Atlantis called Lemuria. And these crystals, these beings, let's say, of higher intelligence, interdimensional, I don't know if they came from another planet or what, nobody knows for sure, but they left messages for us by planting these little seeds. It would almost be like planting flowers in the garden. You put some seeds out, and later in the spring, the flowers grow. So in this case, they left these little seeds behind that over the course of years and eons have grown into these crystals, which are now starting to become... Um, very prevalent around the planet. And in the crystals, when you work with them, you energetically release um, messages of peace and hope and just frequencies that are assisting the shift that we're going through right now and creating a peaceful energy. Shelley, how has working with gems and crystals enhanced your life? Oh my gosh, it's it's been my whole life. I mean, my dad uh, used to run the Kingman and Bisbee Turquoise Mines when I was a kid. We were just, my parents bought this little machine that turns all of their old slides from the 70s into something that they could put on the computer. So we've been watching a lot of slideshows when we were, when I was a little kid. We were like just three hippies running around in the mines, you know, Colorado and New Mexico, Arizona. So it's kind of a lifelong thing for me. I mean, um, when I wrote the book Gemstone Journeys, I talked about the fact that to me, gems are kind of like friends. You know, some friends you know just for a short time, and some you know for your whole life. And and energetically, many so many of the stones have come in and assisted me with different things. That it, it's just it's been wonderful. The uh, Native Americans, I believe, used to use um, some crystals, and I know that for a fact they used salt uh, as, as protection. Against uh, negative spirits. Yes, they absolutely did. In fact, um, aside from growing up in the mines, it was a Native American who showed me that these actually have energetic healing properties. And salts, again, I mean, if you're having any kind of problems with your, the marriage, the work, whatever, mm-hmm. you know, just get some sodium chloride, just the regular table salt, just sprinkle it. Like, let's say you don't want you want to protect the home, just start sprinkling it in this around the front yard, you know, people just think you're you're keeping the snails away, <laughs> but you're actually creating an energetic field over the home that protects you, and also at the office, let's say you're working in a cubicle, mm-hmm. just put a little salt across the line, and you're kind of energetically saying, I only want that which is positive coming into my space today, and it really, really works, I mean, I've been doing things like that for years. Right, part of it is setting your intent, but part of it is being consciously setting your intent and using a physical thing in the physical world to set the intention that you want positive things in your life. So once again, it's it's just more than putting the uh, putting the salt down, but you also have to use positive reinforcement. 
it's like these are tools that reinforce the intentions that are coming from the subconscious mind. But because we live in the physical world, the reason why they can be so helpful is because if I give you this stone and I tell you this is going to make you happier or this is going to bring you the money that you need or whatever it is you need, and you can look at that every day and and focus on that intention, you know, then you can create it. But let me a caveat. You must do something. I mean, you can't just expect that the Lord Jesus is going to flash a lightning bolt through your living room and bring you a bucket of dollar bills or whatever. You have to get out there. <laughs> I'm going to roll the night. Okay, thank you. Uh, you know, you have to get out there and do something as well. I mean, use it as a focal point for your intent. Make the plan of action. Like, how am I going to get my marriage to be better? You've Where am I going to get that better job? Exactly. You have to work at making things better and getting that job, getting that relationship. It's just not going to be handed to you on a silver platter. You still have to take the steps. Exactly. Yes. You've got to take responsibility. Yes. I just learned the definition of responsibility, which is your ability to respond. You know, you've got some signals here, mm -hmm. the universe, whatever, is giving you some clues, but then you got to go do something with those clues and make it happen. You know, it's just like people when we have psychics on who they call for a psychic reading, and they, and they say, am, am I going to meet the man of my dreams? Well, my question is, are you looking for him, and does he know you're looking for him? People seem to forget that no matter what it is, Shelley, communication is a very necessary part of our minute-to-minute -minute existence, and communication is a two-fold process, talking and listening. Exactly. I, I've been reading a lot of this 2012 stuff lately. Just what is I your take? What is your interesting? What is your take on 2012? Are you are you are you one of these people who believe it's doom and gloom, or are you like me with I believe it's going to be the start of something fantastic? I agree that something fantastic is coming. It's interesting to note along the lines of what you were just saying, that a lot of the things that are written about 2012 says that one of the downfalls of the society has to do with the communication, that we are becoming such an electronic, technology-obsessed, <laughs> I can't even remember the word, um, society that we, um, you know, we're not having enough face-to-face -face contact with each other, and so we're losing something as human beings connecting with each other, if you know what I mean. I, so I, I I agree with that to a certain degree. I mean, we need to get out and see each other more, probably. Spend more time with people. Shelley, uh, one of our listeners would like to know if you might be able to suggest a gem or a stone for this specific cause or purpose. She says she works in a cubicle, as you were mentioning a few minutes ago. She has four computer screens and two TVs going at all times. What oh can gosh. she do to protect herself from any yeah. negativity that these CRTs or flat screens, computers, and uh, TVs may be emanating towards her? Okay, on the front page of my website at ShellyCare.com, there's a, underneath the top part where I say, Hi, Exxon listeners. Hi, Exxon Nation. Then there's this thing that talks about this thing called a Q-Link, which is this little device that I wear every single day of my life. It is a device. It's a looks like a little plastic shield, but behind it, there's 75 feet of coiled copper, speaking of metals, and mm -hmm. some kind of a chip back there. Yeah. It, it, it does a lot of the things that the stones do, but I use it in conjunction with the stones. It is clinically proven to repair the tears in the energetic field, which is the same thing that the stones do, but, but where they found the most results from these things is specifically with these electromagnetic frequencies that are bombarding all of us all of the time. And if you think this is not affecting you, people, I'm telling you, it is. I had misplaced my Q-Link at the gym, and I didn't have one, so I got a new one. And in between the time that I didn't have it, which was a couple of weeks or whatever, um, I, I mean, I, it wasn't like I was feeling horrible, but... It was during the winter when there was a lot of static electricity. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got so many synthetic fabrics and stuff that sometimes at night it looks like a night, sh a light show, yeah. you know, when your, your blankets are moving around. And as soon as my new Q-Link got here, I just, I put it on and immediately I noticed the difference. It is subtle, 
but it is powerful. The first time I started wearing one about, oh, my gosh, six, maybe five or six years ago. I can't remember time because I don't wear a watch, but that's another story. Um, within a couple hours, I felt the difference. And the friend that I was with, we were at a booth in San Francisco at this huge metaphysical expo. She couldn't even stand up. Her feet hurt so bad. And within a couple hours of wearing it, she was standing up going, blah, 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 blah. And then she goes, my gosh, my back doesn't hurt anymore. So it, it does different things for different people because I think that people's energy fields are weakened from various things, whether it's the boss, whether it's I'm having marital problems or I'm bombarded by computer screens and stuff like that. So all of these things are tools that assist the field in becoming stronger. When the field becomes stronger, then whatever it is that's ailing you, whether it's I'm not sleeping well at night or blah, 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 it does different things for different people. But I cannot recommend this thing enough. It is very, very powerful, and they're, like, not very expensive. They're, like, $99 or something. And if if the Exonation um, follows the link off my site, they give you a discount. Excellent. Shelly, so stand, stand by, my dear. You and I have to take our final break for the Sour Exonation. Dr. Shelly Kerr is my special guest. Her website, S-H-E-L-L-E-Y-K-A-E-H-R dot com. Still to come on tonight's show, my guest in the next hour is Michelle Goldberg. And my final guest for this night is Richard Lawrence, and he's going to be teaching us how to unlock our psychic power. That's in our final hour of tonight's show. The Exxon, a place where people dare to believe and dare to be heard, comes to you Monday through Friday from 10 p.m. Eastern until 2 a.m. Eastern, and then the show is repeated in its entirety from 2 a.m. until 6 a.m. on the Talkstar Radio Network. Exxon at TalkstarRadio.com is my email address. On MSN Messenger, TalkStarRadio at Hotmail.com and our websites, www.exxoneradio.com and xzonetv.com. We'll be back on the other side of this commercial break with Dr. Shelley Kerr as we continue from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, right here on the Talkstar Radio Network. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Hi, I'm Larry Lawson, host of Paranormal Stakeout. With over 36 years in law enforcement, I have learned a few things. The most important is the proper gathering and preservation of evidence is vital to putting the bad guy behind bars. It's no different in the world of paranormal investigation, whether it's the search for the afterlife, cryptozoology, UFOs, and extraterrestrials. How we gather the evidence, preserve that evidence, and present it to a jury of our peers will make the ultimate difference in proving the existence of worlds and entities that are beyond our imagination. Join me, Larry Lawson, every week on Paranormal Stakeout when, along with my guests, we'll take a journey to prove with indisputable evidence what man has struggled to believe for centuries. Go to xzbn.net for the broadcast schedule and check me out at paranormalstakeout.com. True healing must address four levels, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, for us to live joyful and productive lives. We tend to treat three of the four, leaving the spiritual languishing. If you're tired of the same dysfunctional patterns cropping up in your life, soul balancing is for you. Trixie Phelps, owner and founder of Soul Balancing, is a naturally gifted energy healer trained in numerous esoteric forms, including shamanism. Trixie has created a powerful modality that safely and effectively clears your energetic field. A soul balancing session can remove interference, heal trauma, and restore your hope. Contact Trixie for a life-changing long-distance session today, www.soulbalancing.world. Dr. Shelley Care is our special guest. Her website is www.shellycare.com. 
dot com. Shelley, uh, as always, it's great having you with us. Time just flies by when you're with us. And uh, you know what? You and I were talking uh, about the year 2012 and a lot of negativity that people are talking about. It. Is it, you know, I, I've even learned over this past week that there are groups and organizations now forming that are that are that are talking about the negative aspect and how we should prepare ourselves for doom and gloom. Is it, po- is it possible that these groups, organizations, and conferences are going to attract more negativity than if they just would put their mind at rest and stop procrastinating about this negativity? Oh, don't even get me started about this. I mean, I think there's a lot of industry that can rise up when people start spouting off this negativity. I mean, look at the... There's probably an international duct tape association that made a million dollars during Y2K. <laughs> yes. I mean, I think it's ridiculous. Okay, let's get real. I mean, if there was something going to happen to us, what would we do about it anyway? I mean, you know, you might as well just go out every day and enjoy your life, and that is what you should be doing To the fullest. To the fullest. To live this thing as if today is your very last day Mm -hmm. and exactly what you want to the extent that you can. And don't worry about it. You're an infinite spiritual being. Nothing is going to happen to us. I mean, even if this place blew up to smithereens, we'd be out in the ethers before we even knew it. <laughs> so I just don't believe that that's going to happen. I really don't. I mean, and the, and yes, I think that in their soul, in their heart of hearts, on some level, people believe they're helping people by saying things like that. But the truth is, you are not helping people. You're just fear mongering, and the fear is a freak is a very low frequency. We need to get out of that low frequency and rise into this new age that's coming of peace and happiness. And yes, some stuff's going to have to hit the fan first. Fine, let it go. Yeah. Good times are coming. In order to get to the good, sometimes you've got to get rid of the bad. You do. Yeah. Shelley, as always, great talking to you. I look forward to the next time when you and I meet here in the X Zone. And until then, the very best to you and yours, and keep your great work up. Thanks, Rob. Happy Easter to you and yours. Take care, my good friend. Dr. Shelley Care, www.shellycare.com. That's S H E L L E Y K A E H R.com. When I come back from the news at the top of the hour at six and a half minutes past, Michelle Goldberg is going to be my very special guest. Amongst other things, we're going to be talking about her book. Kingdom Coming: The Rise of Christ of the Christian. Uh, I'm sorry, the rise of Christian nationalism. That's coming up next in the X Zone as we continue live and around the world from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. And also, our final guest of the evening is going to be Richard Lawrence, telling us how to unlock our psychic power. This is the X Zone on the Talk Star Radio Network, and we're coming to you live and around the world from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada on the Talk Star Radio Network. You can always send a question to exxon at talkstarradio.com on MSN Messenger, talkstarradio at hotmail.com and our websites, exxonradio.com and exxonetv.com. I'll be back after the news. Don't go away.